Okay, so this is the skull effect. So it's probably better to do this on a tripod, but I just got this video from pexels.com. And it, there's not a whole lot of movement right here, um, but we'll have to mask a little bit. But I'll go ahead and start right here. So let's go ahead and Command B and cut that clip right there. And then our effect will stop, let's see, 30 seconds. That's fine, about two seconds we'll do the effect for. <clears throat> so what you wanna do is go to Google and find a an image of, of a skull. Okay, so you wanna grab your skull, here we go. You can do an arm, a leg, doesn't matter. But in this case, we're gonna do the skull. And you wanna come down here to where it says blend mode. You wanna change that to screen. And then we are going to transform. Let's, whoops. There we go. Okay, we're gonna make it. Do about that size, and then we're gonna rotate it. Fit his head about right there. Okay, so let's start from the very beginning, and we're gonna add a keyframe right here. And then we're just gonna use our right arrow key to just arrow over frame by frame. And if the image goes off his face, then we'll have to adjust. It's coming off a little bit. Just adjust that a tad bit. Keep going. Go up a little bit. Almost there. And okay, there we go. Okay, we'll hit done on that. So when you play that back, it should be lined up pretty good. Whoops. Play it back. And okay, that's good. So now what we want to do is let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and just frame over one keyframe. Just do one at a time. Whoops. God dang it. Just on the top clip for right now. That's what I'm trying to do. All right, and then we'll skip a couple frames. go all over the place here okay then what we want to do is go down to effects and we want x-ray put that on the on the bottom clip okay then what we want to do is, that's where we started. We're going to go every other clip and we're going to hit V to disable the clip. Just do every other clip. Uh, 
Okay, we'll do those two. That's fine. And then... For the bottom clip, we'll just do... Every, like, ten frames or so. Okay, that should be fine. And then... So for this, so yeah, the first one we got the effect right there, the x-ray effect. Second frame we'll take it out, and then third frame we'll bring it back. Fourth one, and we'll take it away. So when we run that back it should look something like this. And the x-ray is a little harsh. We can take... We can bring it down a little bit. Okay, we'll adjust that a little bit. Okay, let me run that back. Go ahead and cancel that. Okay, should look better. Okay, so this is the split screen effect. So we got our two clips right here. And you just wanna drag one on top of the other. And we're gonna go ahead, we'll go ahead and trim them up to make sure they're the same. So you wanna disable the bottom clip, just hit V. And then we're gonna go to the top clip and we are going to actually go down here and we're just gonna slide this clip over to about right about right there and then we are going to enable the bottom clip and disable the top clip and do the same thing with this one whoops okay select that one and we're gonna slide it this way About right there is good. Okay, go ahead and enable the top clip. Okay, now you want to come up here where it says 65% and we're going to put it down to 50% so we can see what we're working with. Come down here to effects, go to masks and draw a mask. Put it on the top clip and we're just going to go ahead and draw a middle point right down the center and go over here and boom that is it that's all you gotta do we'll just play it back real quick and that's it okay guys this is the mirror effect super easy one step process so find a spot in the video you want to do it Go ahead and cut that. We'll do this part right here. Come down to effects. Let me search up mirror. Drag it on there and boom. That is it, you are done. If you wanna adjust it, you can. It looks pretty cool. Or you can rotate it. That looks pretty sick. All right guys, that is it, super easy. That's the mirror effect. So this is very easy. You typically see letterbox in like films and music videos and it's just a one step process. It looks really cool. So you just wanna come down to effects, type in letterbox, just a one step process. And I think music videos usually are about 255, and films are usually about 235. They both look pretty cool. I prefer 2.35. Um, you can use the offset switch if you need to adjust a part that's being cut out. Um, 
You can make it bigger on border size. You can change the color. I'm not going to do it right here, but you can change the color on it. Just play around with it, guys. See what you want to do. But that's it. Okay, so this is the dream blur effect. Super easy. Um, Two-step process. So we need two effects. We need vignette and we need a focus blur. So let's go to blur and here's focus blur. Drop that. And then we need vignette. Drop that on top. And that's it. <laughs> Super easy guys. You guys obviously can play around with the settings. See what works best. Okay. You can soften the blur. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Okay. You can change the size of the vignette. But yeah, just play around with it, guys. Pretty simple effect. It's really cool. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, so this is the earthquake glitch effect. So what we want to do is find a spot in the video that we want the effect to start happening. I'll just zoom in a little bit. So command B to blade. And then use your right arrow key to just arrow over and just continue the process for as long as you want the effect to happen. Okay, I'll just stop right there just to make it easy. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Okay. So we want to take the first clip and go to effects. Okay, we want two effects. We want, first effect, we want bad TV. And then second effect, we want prism. All right. Then you want to hit Command C to copy. And my keyboard is being weird, so I gotta go up here and, whoops. You want to select the rest of the clips, come up here to edit, and paste effects. Okay. Then all you want to do now is just scale every other clip. So do that one, skip one, do the next one, scale it up. Next one. Okay. Alright. And it should look just like that. That's it. Okay, so we got our footage here. You want to go find the spot you want to do. So we'll just start right here. And you're going to blade and then just arrow over. Let me go ahead and just zoom in a little bit. And you can do every frame or you can do every other frame. I think it looks better if you do every other frame. So we do arrow, right arrow twice. And course do this as long as you want the effect to happen just keep doing it <clears throat> go ahead and zoom out a little bit okay 
We'll just go ahead and keep going a little bit longer. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Let me zoom in again. About right there is good. Okay, so we start with our first clip and we're gonna go to the color board and just use the white. Just we'll pick a color. Oh, let me silence my phone. Okay. Then we go to the next one and just choose a different color. You can make it blend better if you do kind of the same. Uh, if you get close to the color you just did, or you can just go all over the place with it, whatever you want to do. Okay, and you just repeat this process and seen from the intro that's what it's gonna look like so super easy guys uh we'll see you in the next video all right so we want to find where our effect is going to start so i'm gonna start when he's kicking the dirt or right before he does. So let's go ahead and cut that. Command C to blade the clip. And then we're gonna stop it right about there. So our camera, we're gonna be zooming in right on his foot right here. We're gonna watch the sand, the dirt fly over here and then it's gonna come back to this full screen. Um, so what we wanna do is start right at the beginning Right at the beginning here and we're gonna hit this little icon right here and we're gonna go up here and add a keyframe and then you want to scale the video up to about right there okay and we just use our arrow keys and we're just gonna follow his right leg couple frames over I'm just gonna follow the dirt okay just gonna kinda fade out his legs are gonna go up and we're just gonna follow the the dirt being kicked And that is it. So, super easy, guys. Let's go ahead and play that back real quick and see what it looks like. Whoo, that's smooth. All right, that's it, guys. Hope that helps. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, so right here we have two different clips. We got this one and we got this one. So we're gonna use this one as our main clip. So we're gonna put this one on the bottom. Let's go ahead and bring this back. Okay, so this is super easy guys and it's really cool. All you need to do is come to the top clip and come down to compositing and blend mode and we're gonna change this you can you can play around with there's so many different things you can do in this one um, you can do lighten and that would look something like this let me stop that real quick this is what it looks like on lighten mode really freaking cool 
Um, so let's look at let's look at another one. Let's do darken. Oh yeah, that's badass. So yeah, you guys just play around with these. Um, let's try another one real quick. Color burn. What does that look like? Stop that. Let's try that one. Really cool. Sorry guys, my computer's a little laggy. But that's it. That's super easy. It's a really cool effect. Alright, see you guys. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the bounce effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to it. Okay, so this is the bounce effect. We are going to... Okay, so here's our clip. It's better to do this on a tripod, but we'll make it work. So hit Command C and make a copy, and then Command V to paste a duplicate. Okay, so let's find a spot where we want our effect to happen. We'll just go right here. Okay, Command B to blade it, and we will just play it till about right there. All right. So we want to come to effects and we want draw mask. Put that on the clip right there. Go ahead and start it from the beginning. Okay. And then you want to take your draw mask and mask out the object that you want to bounce. Alright, there we go. Now, you want to come right here to this icon and hit a keyframe. And then you want to use the arrow keys to arrow over. And then I'm going to come down here and we're just going to scale it up and down every couple frames. Okay, so we scaled it up. Go a couple frames over. We'll scale it back down. couple frames over, scale it back up, and then just repeat, scale back down a little bit, bring it back up. Let's play that back real quick. See what that looks like. Alright, that's it. Pretty cool. Alright guys, thanks for watching.